Welcome back. We're continuing to run through the four core elements that make up any business. This time we're looking at the yellow asset section, which deals with capital expenditure, or capex. Now, we actually covered how to model inventory purchases in the earlier cost of sales video. In this video, I'd like to focus on the asset component and leave the investments component to another in-depth video on this channel. The investments component is used for investing the business's cash, which is not to be confused with investor funds injected into the business, which we are going to handle in the next video when we look at the funding side of the business. So the asset component is used for purchases that don't just have a cost element, but also hold value for the business. Examples would be land or buildings, equipment, vehicles, etc. Um, and vehicles are a great example because they're quite easy to think about. If you think about the purchase of a car, you'll buy it for its initial value, but you also probably have the expectation that you'll be able to sell it later on in its life. Now, when you sell it, it probably won't be for its original value, but a lot less since the car has depreciated or lost value over time. It may have even lost all of its value due to significant repairs being needed, and so it may just have to be written off completely. The asset component handles all these factors and gives you options for how you want these different properties to, be to behave financially. So let's see this in action. Let's buy a car for £12,000. And now remember, as we saw with the operational costs, this purchase will happen at the beginning of the timeline row. Head over to the timeline and drag the start date to the month you want this to purchase from. So if we take a look at the cash flow, you'll find the cost has appeared as you'd expect in a similar way to how an operational cost would work. Now the difference will become evident if you take a trip to the balance sheet. You can see the assets account has now been populated and it's showing the value of the car we just bought. And because we haven't set any depreciation yet, its value just stays the same for the rest of the plan. So let's set up some depreciation to show this value reducing over time. We have a number of options available to us, such as reducing equally each month based on the initial value, or reducing fast initially, but gradually slowing down since this option recalculates the amount it reduces by each period based on the most recent value or just a straight line to zero over the course of its life. Finally, you can manually adjust its value with your own custom profile using the manual option on the end. So this time I'll choose straight line so that the value drops to zero over the course of the three years of my plan. Now, if we look at the balance sheet again, you can see that it immediately starts losing its value the moment it's purchased. This is going to help you more accurately model equipment purchases like computers that generally start to lose value quite quickly after the initial purchase date. So let's take a look at the final option, which allows us to either sell the asset or write it off completely so that it, that it disappears off our balance sheet altogether. So here you pick a date that you want to sell it on and the first option will take a look at the value of the asset on the balance sheet on that date and then sell it for cash equal to that amount which you'll see appear on the cash flow. Next, you can choose the date to sell it on again, but bypass the depreciation amount and set a, a sale value yourself. Finally, you can choose just to write it off on a date which will remove any remaining balance sheet value, but there'll be no cash arriving on this date because we've just disposed of it. So that covers how assets work. In the next video, we're going to move on to the final components to a financial forecast, and that's the sources of funding you'll need to get your business off the ground. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.